Hello and welcome to the IT Chronicles. We're coming to you from the Gartner Data Centre show in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGow and I'm here with my co-host Charlie Betts. Kirsty. And it's our pleasure to be chatting with Bob O'Keefe from DFT today. Thank you for having me. Now I understand you had an early start this morning with, with your presentation. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what you were, what you were talking about today? Sure, we hosted a breakfast uh, really to uh, convey who it is that we are yeah. and what it is that we do. Uh, we shared the information for new and prospective clients mm -hmm. as well as maybe those who already know yep. a little bit about us. Plus, we also used the, uh, the words and insight from one of our customers and partners that, uh, that also shared what it was like to work with us and mm -hmm. as, uh, as part of a, a, a business inside of our business. Right. Yeah, very good. Okay, and of course, the business is a wholesale mm -hmm. data center construction. Mm -hmm. You're Correct. really in the big, yeah. big capital uh, side of things, Bob. Very, very, much very so. fascinating. And yes. you've built data centers for some of the most familiar names out there in uh, uh, web scale computing, for example. We, um, we generally build them big, uh, yeah. 400,000 square feet on average uh, for the yeah. folks that, uh, that occupy our space, mm -hmm. our, our customers are the likes of Microsoft and Yahoo and right. Facebook and well, folks like that. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so this, is, this is no little business we're talking about. No, this, serious, is, no. this is serious And, and serious one, of the, uh, one of the major uh, drivers of that is, as you can tell by the names, mm -hmm. they're, they're very much technology yes. oriented, cloud oriented folks. As the cloud continues mm -hmm. to grow on its exponential rate, it's driving mm -hmm. business and demand in our area yeah. as well. So the cloud mm -hmm. data has to terminate yeah. somewhere and we're actually mm -hmm. the places where it, uh, yeah. it actually resides. So how many, how many data centers do you have? We have yeah. 11 at, uh, at yeah. present. Uh, yeah. We're in three major uh, tier one markets. Yeah. Uh, at present, we are in Northern Virginia, yeah. uh, Ashburn, Virginia. We're in Chicago uh, or Elk Grove, mm -hmm. uh, Illinois, just outside of the yeah. city of Chicago and Santa Clara. But mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the next two years, we'll also have a data center in Toronto, mm -hmm. as well as another one right. in Hillsborough, which is just outside of Portland, Oregon. Right. Okay. Now, just to clarify, um, so you build and run your own data centers, and then you build them on request for other companies mm -hmm. who then also own them, or all of the, the, you know, you are building and running everything? We build, manage, and operate our data centers, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, but in the case of uh, Server Central, the, the, uh, the customer, um, that uh, I was talking about this morning, who joined us on on, uh, on stage for the uh, the breakfast, they actually take out space and they sub less uh, right. sublet the yep. uh, the space that they have for even smaller customers. Mm -hmm. uh, so yep. our computer rooms are uh, fairly sizable. Mm -hmm. We we basically measure them in, in terms of uh, power um, and 1.2 yep. megawatts on average is a is a typical computer room. Mm -hmm. So if that's too big for a customer, uh, our uh, partner slash customer yep. Server Central this morning was saying how they have the ability to subdivide right. that even further. Uh, okay, so it's almost a tiered approach. Right. That, you know, they take it and then lease parts of that to other other companies. Correct. Yeah. But for the most part, uh, the vast majority of our business mm. is with the larger with the large uh, folks. So yeah. if you think of you know Microsoft mm. and their their needs and Yahoo with their needs and so yeah. forth. It's um, it's really. Uh, multiple rooms, yes. lots of space yep. inside of, of our overall building. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Now, of course, lately, you know, when we've seen discussions of data centers, there's just a few different things that I've noticed, you know, kind of crossing my radar. For example, power density becoming mm -hmm. a real concern, corresponding concerns over just how do we manage the physics of the cooling. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're really into some interesting engineering problems there, of course. Uh, uh, you speak a little bit more about you know what what's top of mind for you as you yeah. go into the next generations mm -hmm. of data center. Well, uh, we we look at the, the kind of the key five key things in terms of space, power, cooling, security, and yep. connectivity are the, the five mm -hmm. uh, main things that our customers yep. look for when they're choosing a, a data center partner. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those is cooling, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the locations that we've picked: Ashburn, yeah. Chicago, um, yep. Santa Clara. Um, Oregon as mm -hmm. well as uh, Toronto yep. has the ability to take advantage of the local yes. environment and the local climate um, so right. that uh, we don't always have to, uh, to be running our, our chiller plant. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that we're taking into consideration as we, as we continue to expand. Mm -hmm. okay. Water cooling, is that going to be a thing? Yeah. Uh, we're actually using water. Okay. Uh, so it already is yep. primarily, yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I'm a yep. little bit behind, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, interesting. Yeah. And, uh, so obviously you wouldn't you wouldn't be looking at putting a data a data center around here anytime soon. The the in Las heat, Vegas? yeah. The, uh, actually, there is a, yeah. a fairly large yes, um, yeah. you know data center yeah. um, organization that's yeah. out here already. Right. Yeah. Like so the, uh, it, uh, the 
cooling side of things is obviously yeah, at a, night, yeah, a it actually a, it works issue. you know temperature wise for them yeah. um, they uh, they have a pretty sizable yeah. facility yes. here as well oh. interesting interesting and as you said there's just no shortage of demand i mean we're right. certainly mm. seeing you know i mean i've also seen people saying wow you know the, the data centers if they keep growing in a linear way and of course nothing ever keeps yep. growing in a linear way <laughs> no, but they'll, they'll be consuming 60 percent of the u.s power <laughs> grid but, you know i mean what, oh. what do you can you prognosticate a little bit for us as to well again um looking at the cloud and the growth of yep. the cloud mm -hmm. that's really a key driver for us mm -hmm. and as that right. demand uh, continues and and uh, Gartner has, uh, has mentioned, some of the other analysts have mentioned that, mm -hmm. that there's only a small portion, yeah. less than 20% of, of migration is, has been happening over the last few right. years. Now as, as this year, yeah, yeah. As, as more of the enterprise businesses mm -hmm. start to move their yep. businesses into the cloud, that's going to help yep. accelerate the, uh, the demand the as well for space. The demand for data centers. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, it's not going to slow down now, is it? It's going to, no, the, the, the speed is going to keep keep growing. Internet mm. of things and, and yeah. you know, uh, big data mm. demands and so forth. It seems yep. like it's growing at an exponential mm. rate. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be, you know, more and more services that we get, are, you know, they're not local anymore. We're, we're looking for you to, I guess, you to provide the infrastructure for virtually everything we consume now. Well, uh, if, if that mm. is going into the yep. cloud, yeah, mm. it seems like um, um, more and more, mm. um, you know, started with uh, yeah. our music and, and yes. uh, photos yep. and things like mm. that, yeah, but yeah. as more things migrate mm. towards the cloud, I think yep. it's going to just uh, continue just to increase the demand. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks a lot for your time today, Bob. It's been a, a pleasure chatting with you. Oh, and my pleasure. Uh, thanks for having I, me. I hope, I hope we can chat with you again and find a little sure. bit more of what's happening in your world. That sounds terrific. Thank, Thank you again. You.